We are back with Kodalka, and I'm on the load menu because look at this. Look at this. 22, 22, 22. This signifies the final secret item in the game, which means, number one, it's going to be good. And number two, I no longer have to worry about this timing business. I can just move on. I don't have to grind for time by just idling for hours. So, let's load ourselves a game. Now, I did reload an old save to get back here, but I'm right about where I left off. Maybe you noticed from my load file, I'm level 25 now. I, I got a few new items just from grinding enemies. I was leveling up once every fight, maybe every two fights. The game's pretty generous with this. But take a look at this. I got a Rosario, a fire one, an air one, and another fire one. And they're very good at pumping... There we go, intelligence, piety, and mind. So everyone's wearing them, why not? Good stuff. Otherwise, I think I got some panaceas or something. It's fine. I'll show you the secret item shortly, but first, I'm gonna get out of here. I think I have to view the cutscene to make this happen. And I forgot if I did that or not, so let's play things perfectly safe. No, I guess I hadn't, but now I have. And now I leave. And now we get crazy gargoyle. I do love that scene, but I'm gonna skip it for the uh, for the sake of this bit here. That thing is intimidating. I leave. I think this part is free. The point is, you can't fight this guy. And I think we get one more scene, maybe, because we get kicked out. No, okay, I'm I'm just out. This is where I ended the previous stream. I'm going to go ahead and save now. And now we continue, and remember I walk one step, and whoops, we're gonna have to go to disc three, right? Oh my goodness. So let me go ahead and take care of that. All right, now let's see what happens. Back to the gameplay thing. Do I just change screens? Yeah, I just change screens and that's it. There's no save between discs or anything like that. It's so weird. Now, bad news. Kodelka is solo for this part. I think we already knew this. But just for fun, let me go ahead and show you the, the new equipment I got as a result of my secret item exploits. Oh yeah, I got a couple swords, but Roger's Staff. It increases my intelligence and mind a whole hell of a lot. Look what happens if I go uh, barehanded, and then I go to Roger's Staff. Like, that's absurd. 31 to 130 for mind, 50 to 149 for intelligence. It just pumps them by 99. Absolutely absurd. And hello there, Dragon Ace. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to put my cat's eye back on, but I will take a look at Roger's staff, see what this is.
What? What? That's for Roger's staff? Just board? Planed from hardwood. Well, it's lumber. Planed from hardwood, then dried and coated with oil to prevent cracking. Not meant for use as a weapon? What? But why does it explode my intelligence and mind stats? I don't understand that at all. But it makes a wizard absolutely devastating. Pure, just monstrosity. It's pretty incredible. Anyway. Where am I? <laughs> I can't go back in the chapel, I know that much. One day I'll learn how to make sense of this, like I kind of get this, but as far as my actual direction, that could be a little disorienting. So I'm going to need to go and save, honestly. So where am I going to get going here? I see a cool looking statue thing. Inner grounds, church door side. I guess I'll do a quick save now that I've made it to the third disc. Oh, Winterburn, you're saying Roger's staff has no entry on the wiki? Um, at, at least the guide I was using, I think it was called something different. It was Roger's something else like it wasn't a staff like roger's cane i think it might have been so I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be anything <laughs> anyway i got my attempt save point that's something so now i would really rather not do fights right now because i'm solo More than one enemy is actually kind of scary, so I'm going to get out of here. Fortunately, I can. That was easy. I'm just going to have to orient myself. This is going to be awkward, I think. Does this do anything? Can I examine this? No. Inner Grounds, Patrick's Quarters. I don't know what anything is. Is this anything? I'm going to have to just get lucky with my investigations. I see a bunch of statues, I guess. Is this anything? We have lots of statues. I can step up. A statue of a woman. Oh, I could attach the icon's necklace. Do I even want to do that now? I'm gonna I'm gonna back off for now because I just want to make sure that I get a save point like a proper save point. The statues are cool though. Is this anything? Nope. Several statues, which is cool, but can I go this way? Does this help me? That just takes you back to the church, which I can't do anything with. What if I go straight to the screen? Okay, this is something I actually think that I, like, I think I actually want to be here. Oops. If my controller would stop flaking on me, that'd be nice. But whatever, climb these little steps, nice and easy. Gorgeous scenery, but again, it's hard to see where I am. And yeah, I went to burn intelligence and piety, plus 99. Breaks after 255 uses as a melee weapon. I don't think it'll come to that, but I guess that means I can't grind it absolutely forever, so fair enough. Is this what I want? It's shining with the sacred light, it's been purified. Okay, this is a real save point. I'll take this. Okay, there we go. Now, which way am I going? 
Again, I would rather not fight right now. I could take these things, but that involves having to put up with them. Uh, and here we go, it begins. Okay, I'm out of here. I'll take that. Am I allowed to walk up the steps? Oh wait, here's something. You can barely see it. Hi, Listel. Very good. That's my magic restorative. So I'll certainly take that. Otherwise... Yeah, I, I gotta press X to get out of that screen. Inner grounds main gate. This is still another screen? This is ridiculous. And where's the main gate you speak of? Am I... Am I approaching it? Also... Interesting. Can I go up the little step, please? I'm trying. This is annoying. Can I get over there? There we go. That was extremely finicky. The statue is holding the holy sword, Saknoth. Uh, this is just a little shout out here. This game was made by Saknoth and SNK, so it's the company name sword. Do you want to take it? Yeah. Try as you might, you can't take Saknoth from the statue. It appears to be held in place by something. Well, nuts. All right. All right. Can I... There we go. Oh, well. I think I'm going to have to go back to... Okay. Whoa. I'm going to have to go back to the main courtyard area and run around with those four statues. But I got a proper save, which is the important thing for now, from this fountain, which is very good. So let's see if I can find my way back into that other area. There's the main gate. Do I go left? Or does it take me right back to the fountain? Maybe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to save here, though. Upper left? Is that how you do it? Yeah, here we go. This is very disorienting. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, ew. What is that thing? I recognize the zombie thing, but this is gross. Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye. Creepy. Can I get back to the statue area? Okay, there I am. I had to find my own character for a second there. Inner grounds. Okay, this is more like it. So if I go straight forward, I get to the church. I don't want to do that yet. Let's go this way. Yeah, now we have the statues. This is going to be good. So, step up. Uh, a statue of a woman. Yep, that's definitely one woman. Do you want to attach the icon's earring so I could finally drop some of my inventory? Because I'm really filling my inventory up. So, yes. I actually see them. The icon's earring has been attached to the statue. Yay! That's one statue satisfied. Otherwise... You know, grounds... Uh, Patrick's Quarters. I guess I'll make a temp save, why not? It's so weird seeing just Kodelka on the thing. Alright, anyway, 
I clearly there's another statue here and one past me. A statue of a woman. Icon's ring. Got it. That's definitely a ring. Rings go on the wrist. Uh, the icon's ring has been attached to the statue. Let's go back. This is the one that I was going to try first, so we'll just go there now. Also a door. Locked from the other side, sorry. Anyway, back to the statue. If the game will let me go up the steps, there we go. This was the icon's necklace. Ooh, that looks cool. The necklace has been attached to the statue. I only have one more icon thing, so we're getting there. Okay. Can I go this way? I might have to go back around. Hopefully this works. Does this do it? Oh, well, there's a fight. I don't want that. No thank you. I'm very happy that I'm getting away with all this running away on the first try. I think there was one instance where it was the second try. It's very scary, because even though Kodelka could take care of herself, like, multiple enemies, uh, church door side, I don't want that. Do I need to go? This is annoying. It says from statue three, walk right. Like, but where was there to go from statue three is my question. Just, can I go under here? Oh, wow. Alright. Didn't know that was an option. Inner grounds arbor side. You know what? I'll, I'll actually save again. There we go. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go back to the, the main save point here, because I am approaching the conclusion to this puzzle. I forgot if the icon pieces were absolutely mandatory to encounter. I think they might have been given to us by bosses, because I don't have any idea how I would backtrack in the game to acquire those <laughs> things. I think they might have been just boss drops, so I, th I think we're, we're good for this point of the game. I don't think I could get cheated. All right, let's try this again. Can I go up the stairs? I guess I just have to go this way. All right. Can I keep walking left? This must be it. Okay, very disorienting. And again, I'm trying to go up the steps. Here we go. Statue of a woman. Icon's crown. Boom. No fanfare, but let me show you something. Something frustrating. I've drained the fountain. I can no longer save at it. That was my save point. However, a pendant. This, I think, is, like, it's, it, it's not technically necessary to beat the game, but it really kind of is. I'll go into that later. But yes, I want to pick it up. This is technically missable by the time I, I reach a certain point in the game, but you really really, really should have this. So let's take a look at what it is. It's an accessory. It's just called Pendant. Pendant with strong mystic powers given to Kodelka when she was young by a gypsy. 
I guess if you said by a gypsy when she was young, you'd say who was young, Kodelko or the gypsy. But it feels weird when she was young by a gypsy. I would maybe rephrase this, but strong mystic powers, and it's supposed to be Kodelko's pendant. Go figure. Is there anything that I would want to overwrite with this thing? Fire ring? Oh, okay. Piety barely drops. Mind goes up by five. Intelligence by four. And luck freaking explodes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll take that. Too bad I can't save, but I have the pendant, which is incredibly important. So from here, I need to find out where to go. I'll, I'll save again. I still do have my temporary save points at the very least. So let's go back down. Uh, down, I said. Oh god, alright. Here's a fight. These clowns again. Uh, well, second try is a charm, right? It's like the front of a bat. It's so weird. Anyway, I'm out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. I, I mean, I, I think you can appreciate this. It's it's pretty well documented that my sense of direction is not good, but this is an extremely disorienting location. I'm supposed to be... I don't know what. Like, where am I supposed to be going. I'm not even I'm not even sure if this is the way to go, but I'll check. Okay, the answer is no. Let's go back. Do I go up these steps? Do I just retreat that way? Is this a thing? Yeah, no, I, I can go in here. That, wow. That's something to just immediately go into. <laughs> That's more than a little creepy. Am I in the right location? I hope I am. Is there anywhere else to go? There's just a giant... I think I am in the right location. But this is off-putting. Oh, I can't care anymore? Oh well. Oh, tricky, tricky. Can I investigate the guillotine? You see dried spots of blood y here and there. Yeah, here and there. Do you notice any here? There's a little over there, too. Just, yeah, here and there. Hmm. Anyway, let's go. There's a ladder that the camera revealed to me. There's countless bloodstains splattered everywhere. Yeah, this is full-on torture dungeon. They're not going to show it, are they? Okay, not quite. Oh, great. This guy was just waiting. First Kodelka's knocked over by a gargoyle, now some guy with a club. Don't be unreasonable! We can't handle that many passengers! The sky is getting dark. The draft, the draft, we're sinking. Bessie, Bessie, the meat is burning. It's burning. No, it's not working. No, hey, hey. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, you. No, we're sinking. Wait, wait, my boat, my boat. So did you get all that? Are you awake? These ruffians! You harlot! Stomp it! Have you no shame? Oh, if only Elaine had been saved, we wouldn't be in this mess. Elaine? Ah, uh, yes. She was merciful. She was benevolent. She believed me, and she was fond of my paintings. Your paintings? 
It wasn't my fault! All of a sudden, there was a coal ship out of nowhere. It was dark. What could we do? It sank so fast. I was faultless. Elaine. Poor, poor Elaine. If only I'd stayed with her. Hey, you! You! Hey! How's that? Just a lamp? You, I'll make you just a lamp! You're crazy! Shut up! Oh. Honey, let's stop this now. It's time to stop. It's okay. It's over. I'm sorry. My husband. A long time ago. He was the captain of a big pleasure boat. It was a gorgeous boat. He was so proud of it. But then, there was the accident. So many people died. Everyone blamed my husband. It was so difficult for him. But he started drinking heavily. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? No matter how much you drink, you can't forget such a tragedy. But he met Elaine. She believed he was innocent. She helped him carry on. This Elaine, she said? Yes. Why is it that good people seem to die so early? What a waste. While Elaine's husband Patrick was traveling, a robber broke into their house. My husband has always said, if only I had been there for her. Then we should stop this conversation now. My husband is waiting. He can be so no way. You know? Jeez. This game is grim as hell. This is how we start the third disc. I like that she doesn't let me free. She just gives me a knife like you do it. There's something about Bessie's body that bothers you. Oh, is there? Could there be? But yeah, there. that was Bessie. So remember those two, the, like the older couple at the beginning of the game? That was who they are. Rifle RD. I'll see if I can figure out what that is. I mean, the RD, of course. A modified rifle with a shorter barrel than a standard model. The shortened barrel makes it easier to handle and allows for a faster reaction time. But my god. So there goes Bessie and I'm assuming the other guy is Ogden. Because remember, the first secret item we got, or maybe the second one, was Ogden's axe. Well, we certainly saw the axe. You see something blue shining in Bessie's bosom. Hey, it's a key. It's a blue key. Oh my god. This game does not mess around. Metal key with an image of a priest's staff engraved on it. The words Patrick's room are carved on the back. Well, we did see the thing. We saw Patrick's name on a temporary save point. Oh, Winterburn rifle rapid deployment. Fair enough. Thank you. So now I'm back where I started this area. It was only one screen, so no big deal. I'll climb... I believe I climb back down to the, the ladder. There's a... I can fight in here? You see the floor's all bloody? It's these birds, I don't care. Kodoko's had a day. Can you imagine going back to Edward? Hey, guess what? About those people who poisoned you? <laughs> okay, I'm back here. I think I might want to climb down the ladder again. So let's do that real quick. This time we actually get to see me start to climb down. Look at this place, though. Come on. You see dried bloodstains? Oh, do I? God damn. The 
This place is eerie. I gotta go around the little torch here. You found bottle of blood. Sounds important. This game. Oops, that was heal. So much for using up all my icon pieces, I'm flooding my inventory again. I still have Valma's doll. What is this? Anyway, glass bottle found in the arbor containing human blood. I figured it was human, but they're confirming it for us. Thank you. Also, you could probably see this. Rifle rounds. Appropriate. Oh. Kudelka! Edward. Kudelka! I'm over here! Where are you? I'm over here! Oh, thank God. I was so worried. Are you okay? Are you hurt? No. I'm okay. How about you? I almost got creamed by that monster. Luckily, I went down the side hallway. Walls caved in. We can't get back to the sanctuary. I figured if you'd escape from the garden, you'd be here. Thank God I took the underpass. Ah, it's no use. This door won't open. Damn it! Is we... there another way out? Aren't you underneath the arbor? There is. There is another door across from the cathedral. The cathedral, that's right. There's got to be another way out. A secret passage or something. Secret passage? Okay, let's split up. Kadelka, start from that door. We'll go along the wall. Find a place to regroup, clear? Got it. Kadelka. Yeah? Don't get killed. Ew. All right, we might be able to reconvene. That would be nice. You agree to meet Edward and James in the library. Well, I know where the library is, but it might be a little difficult to get there from here. There is another set of doors right here. Underground corridor. I'm saving because that was a lot. I mean, I know I can just skip the scenes, but that was still a lot. Also, can we give a, a shout out to Edward and James for not having killed each other? <laughs> Edward would probably be the one to do the deed, but James has potential. Something's not right. Ah, uh, nuts. All right. All right. This game seriously gives me a boss fight that I have to solo. Incredible. Whoa, whoa. Awesome. Really awesome. Ugh. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I guess I'll run away before casting next time. If he's gonna come to me, it won't be so bad. Padelga has ridiculous piety, but, uh... Physical defense? Good thing I have at least somewhat upgraded my health. Look at that. Oh god, where is there to go from here? If this thing corners me, I'll be in a little bit of trouble. I could try maneuvering around him, but it'll easily catch up to me. I think I could survive this, though. It's basically... If Tornado did 2,000, it'll be three turns of this. <laughs> oh my god. You know, one more of this should probably do the trick. It's too bad he hits me twice for every time I hit him once, though. I shouldn't die, but he's really smacking me around. Actually, well... 
I could take a single hit. So just so long as I kill him with my hit, then I should be good. He can punch me once, but he can't punch me after he's dead. I'm level 25 and he's giving me this much grief. I think that did it. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Easy every time. Tell me I leveled up, please. I suppose I could have leveled up before getting here if they're just throwing little birds at me. But I leveled up now. Um, Which was the resistance to physical attacks? Was it still strength? That's how much damage you do. Pure speed. Not just vitality, it's just HP and defense. Alright. Cool. And I got Shotgun RD. So another rapid deployment, I assume. Alright. And that boss was apparently called Gug. Very nice. My items, I'm so bloated with items. A modified version of Shotogun. <laughs> with a shortened barrel. This rifle keeps the firepower and spread of the original model while improving the rate of fire. And now I have another permanent save point. This is a relief. Oh boy. Alright. Otherwise, something right here. Or I could get into a fight. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Alright, we're good. Oh, Winterburn, uh, a being that broke through a dimensional barrier between the worlds. Completely alien in nature, it has a violent and aggressive temper, it relentlessly attacks its enemies with its four strong arms. That's what we're doing in this game? That monster is just straight up from another dimension? <laughs> uh, Roman Nuts, very useful. I mean, not for me right now, because if I die, then I'm, you know, totally out. But Roman Nuts are useful for full revives, as long as you could use them on another party member. Also, check this out. This is just kind of cool. You see a statue of a woman. The words, when the goddess bleeds, then shall she fall, are inscribed on it. Bottle of blood? Sure. As the scent of blood from the bottle enshrouds the statue, it begins to shake. Whoa. Wow. It's a creature of some kind. It says, if you sound the disc, the last of Patrick's experiments. Yeah, this is an optional thing, but this is vague hint man. Does the bottle of blood have any other use? I'm actually curious. Because I used it. This is presumably what it's for, but if it has another use, I would like to know so I can reload the game. I just worked here. Patrick hired me. Ugh. I just worked here. That's so messed up. <clears throat> Must stop the star that Charlotte leaves behind. Or the flare. Yeah, a bunch of vague hints. I'll do two more. <clears throat> but isn't that just the freakiest? If you have the research diary, the emigre file, Roger. All right, one more. This guy does have a limited number of hints. I forgot if it's like eight or something. If you want acid, 
Get empty bottle. Patrick's laboratory. Alright, so just a bunch of stuff. So we're we're all right. Anyway, I'm gonna leave now. I don't think there's anywhere else to go in this room. Yeah, there's nowhere to go in this room. So I'm just gonna go back out. And otherwise, so freaky though. So freaky. Underground corridor. I shall save again. Okay, there we go. Otherwise... Oh! That's cool. Nice effect. Oh, uh, you can see on the lower left, there's an item that's more pistol rounds, which I cannot carry, because I'm maxed. This is a cool looking place. This is so spooky. Otherwise. Anywhere to go from here. Clearly the steps. I don't think this is ultimately where I want to go. Oh, wow. This is right by the church, except I'm on the other side of the fence. Wow. Okay, well I have an idea of where I am, I just can't get to where I want to go to. I know how to get to the library from the other side of the fence in this triangle hallway. Ugh. Oh, they're just going first, huh? You know what, I'll actually, I, I will indulge. That's so creepy. These enemies are freaky. Like, every single enemy in the game. Except for, like, a rat. A bird. Like, everything is creepy as hell. Anyway, there goes the bird. That's what you get for being faster than I am. Oh, could we not? Could we not? Sir? Sir? That really hurt. What the hell? Flare for you, buddy. Get the hell out of here. Oh, that's loads of damage. Good stuff, Kodalka. One of the reasons I was trying to avoid fights before, other than that they take, that they take long, is that if Kodalka gets hit with status effects, like paralysis, she's just out of luck. Like, it's all over. High potion and a sword. I forgot what S- oh, it must be small sword, or short sword. Anyway, the reason I actually came here was this. More Roman nuts, good revive item. But that's it, this is a dead end, unfortunately, because I'm actually pretty close to the library from here and I can't do anything about it. Oh, save point in the graveyard, yeah, I'm gonna use that. I should also heal myself. Okay. Good. Yeah, before I forget, let's heal. I appreciate that it doesn't say heal whom, because normally you have to choose, but when there's only Kodelka, it's like we know. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's a minor thing, but I appreciate it. This game is so moody. Speaking of, look at this. Oh, okay. Cemetery. Actually, I'm in front of a church, so this is legitimately a graveyard. There's one gravestone separate from the rest. You could barely see it before. Charlotte's Grave. Do you want to pray in front of Charlotte's Grave? Sure. Is that it? 
do it. That's it. I can't pray in front of it again, but I guess we're good. I might need to back out of here. There's just a wall of gravestones. I can't actually maneuver between them or among them. But I did not want to go back in there. I got to go down and then left. Oh, hello. That's very conspicuous. Vigna's doll. Oh, don't tell me I might have had the wrong doll the whole time. I mean, it's probably still useful, but this whole time, maybe I couldn't have gone back to those kids. I needed this doll. Or maybe I even needed both. Again, though, I'm really bloating my inventory. An antique bisque doll meant to be a child. The words to my precious Vigna are written, Vigna or Vigna, are written on the bottom of one of its shoes. So it's very similar to the other doll, Valma's doll. To my dear daughter, Valma, but it's the same idea. Somewhat melancholy look on its face, but fine, we're, we're, we're getting the idea here. Otherwise, back off. Sorry, I'm, I'm mashing the button. I'm looking for a little something. And I'm not entirely sure where to get it. You have to be so precise. Of course there's a fight. Like, I'm looking for an item that's supposed to be right here, and it's a secret thing. Ugh, these birds. Again, I will engage. Uh, oh, wrong enemy. Whatever, he's coming closer anyway. I don't know how much a tornado is going to hurt him. I should have gone for the bird. That is... Oh, okay, good enough. Wow, alright. And the bird's still not close enough. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. I've never missed a spell before. Do you think I should just punch it? Do you think I should just punch it? <laughs> nice. If you can't hit birds with air, then just punch them. It's fine. No items. But man, oh man. I'm trying to see where it describes it. It says it's at the back of the actual cross, but you need to be the left to pick it up. But is it on the ground or is it on the cross itself? I'm, I'm gonna get into a fight doing this. What if I go around the other way? Am I allowed to? No, I'm really not. You found St. Daniel's grave. Do you want to pray in front of it? I'll do that in a moment. But this feels like another puzzle. What does it take? Also, how many items do I have? I don't know if that matters. No, I have 47 items. That's good enough for me to not be overflowing with items. Ugh. Sorry, this is just the most tedious thing. I'm trying to pick up an item that's behind the cross, presumably. It just says, walk around the back of the grave from the right. I'm going to run from this one. It's the same fight anyway. Okay, I was able to leave easily enough. Oh, 
Like, I don't know where the hell this thing's supposed to be. I don't even understand this. If I don't get it in a moment, I think I'm just going to abandon ship on this thing, because this is more trouble than it's worth. I can't even see anything to get. Maybe I'll just pray in front of the thing. You feel the presence of someone behind you. A presence you felt before. Oh, Winterburn, it's PAL only and NTSC J only? That's weak. All right, well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, you all repent now. Judgment Day is near. The cacophonous sound of seven bugles will consume the heavens, and all sinners will burn in the fiery wrath of the Lord. Uh, but I, no, I will not die. Mm -hmm. Death knows no boundaries. It is an integral part of each and every life. Death is ultimately an act of grace and love from the Lord. <laughs> oh. A blessing, is it not? <laughs> oh. Daniel Scotius Eregina. Blameless soul. That man has not a heart to be found in his body. Though I do thank him for building the monastery here. And you are? Where are my nuns? <laughs> Hello. My name is Roger Bacon. I am a monk from the Franciscan order. A monk? And I thought you were a mummy. <laughs> Yes, you are quite right in your assessment of me. Sun-dried kippers may be more pleasant to look at than dull. My shriveled up appearance. There was a time when I was hailed as the foremost warlock. But my profession seems to go in and out of fashion with the passage of time. Can't do much about that, can I? You are a strange man. <laughs> That's if you can be called a man. I have given up being a man many hundreds of years ago. I am no longer a person. Though I hesitate to answer questions regarding my existence because I have yet to figure out exactly what I am. That's fine. It's not that I need to know anyway. Hmm. But tell me, why were you sleeping in such a strange place? I've never been able to awake in a good mood. <laughs> and I just planned to rest for a while. What year is it, anyway? Are we still on the Gregorian calendar? Are you trying to <laughs> fool me, or are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. The clock I own was too big for the coffin. It's 1898. Lord have mercy. I've been asleep for close to a hundred years. Well, I guess there are some things that still surprise you. Watch out. When life begins to lack the element of surprise, that's when you are walking down the path to the Lord. <laughs> anyway, as a token of my appreciation, I'm going to keep the metal gate unlocked for you. Go through the gate. <laughs> Much appreciated. Why would you do this for me? Well, it seems to me that your friends are running amok inside the monastery grounds. They're making so much noise. Would you mind telling them to... Keep it quiet, huh? Hmm? <laughs> That's one of my favorite questions in the game so far. Like, are we still on the Gregorian calendar? <laughs> it's amazing. All right, he'll have a gate unlocked for us. Much appreciated. And uh, yes, Winterburn, you were correct in your assessment. What I was trying to find behind this grave was St. Daniel's Cross, which is a weapon, which apparently you can't get in the U.S. version of the game. Too bad. But what's going to be some very, very, very good news 
for me is I think I ought to be able to go back to the earlier part of this graveyard area. I guess I'll save again. And even the guide I'm checking says, oh, I've heard that it might not appear. I wonder if it's based on luck or whatever. Anyway, triangular hallway, but... Well, there is a fight, but I can get back to an area that I actually know how to navigate. I'm very happy about this. And I was able to escape easily. Gotta step up on the steps. And look at that. I'm back in familiar triangular hallway territory. I'm very excited. Library first floor. Look at that. I'm in a place where I actually know where I am. Kadoka. Edward. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. That's not completely the case. I have some bad news for you. I saw the caretakers, both the husband and wife. Really? Where were they? They're dead. <laughs> Apparently they were the ones responsible for killing all the thieves and desperados that were sneaking into the monastery. And with good reason. I don't know. I don't believe you should know very well what has been going on. Ogden was trying to avenge the death of Elaine. Death of Elaine? I don't believe it. This is preposterous. Who is Elaine? I have no idea. All I know is Elaine's spirit called me to this place. Tell me, who is Elaine? And Patrick. The caretakers told me that robbers broke into Elaine's home while Patrick was away and murdered her. Elaine was a benefactor for the caretakers. They took it upon themselves to murder every single robber and desperado that entered their grounds. It was a form of revenge for them. I'm originally from Ireland, you see. Although small, my family had a successful business and was soon able to send me to school, which I loved from a very early age. I was soon accepted to a prestigious university in England, and with my parents' assistance, I made my way across the ocean. I met Patrick at university. We were both studying chemistry and embarking upon similar paths. About that same time, I began competing for the love of a beautiful woman, Elaine, and we had a falling out. I loved Elaine with all my heart. Omnia Winston to more. But love does not conquer all. I soon discovered that I lacked the social status and inheritance money necessary to properly care for someone so well-bred and sheltered as Elaine. I gave up my suit and made way for Patrick. To ease my pain, I joined the church and left the secular world behind. And being the perfectionist I am, the Vatican made me a bishop in charge of some very important matters. But it's been so hard to distance myself from one's emotional attachments. 
Although I had not seen them for 20 years, I wished them all the best in their life together. And if it hadn't been for this, I wouldn't have thought twice about seeing Patrick again. That's right, Patrick. How, how can this be? He promised me he was going to take care of Elaine and make her happy. What could have happened? Being a witness to the gory aftermath. I have a hard time believing the caretakers were acting on revenge alone. Believe me, it was an unimaginably heinous sight. And what about these monsters that keep appearing? No, there's a bigger secret we have yet to uncover. This is the key to Patrick's mansion. Shall we go? Oh, that was a very interesting conversation. James has more depth than I thought. Where do I want to go? Okay, I, th I believe there's a permanent save point right here because there was a boss through this. Well, not this door, but the next one. that's one-handed or two. I don't even know if I have a two-handed sword, but whatever, it's fine. I'm saving. <laughs> Interesting that James reached bishop position in the Vatican, but he only joined the church to escape uh, his emotional torment. He was not brought up religious, or if he was, he wasn't actually from religious at first. Interesting. Anyway, time to advance to what degree I can. Oh, right, I have to go this way. That screen always fools me. Oh, that's right, I could just, this is nothing. I've already solved this puzzle. I was thinking for a second, do I have to do this on the way back? But no. Here's our bandit friend we killed. You know what, I'll give my boys some things to do. Freaky monster. Refreshing to see my characters get their spells off before the enemies start running around. Oh, just got him. All right. I guess to be fair, this area is the start of the second disc. It does look like this is two-handed. But I'm not close enough to fight. And yeah, Dragon Ace, it's not uncommon for families to send children to be in the church, but it seems that James went by his own volition. Damn, Edward didn't have a chance. <laughs> oh, a hammer! Nice! And whiskey, of course, but hey, a hammer! Oh, 
Now let's do some backtracking. This is where I did a little bit of grinding for those little adorable black cats so I could get the cat's eye gems, which have been very, very useful. So you remember this area, right? Been, been some time. Yeah, the holy water font. I will save again. Can't save enough in this game. I am very pleased by how, um, or pleased with how generous its save points are, as a matter of fact. We're really going back. Now, which door was which? I don't remember. Is this even a door? Maybe not. Maybe it's just this. Or maybe... Oh, no. It's... Oh, it's way up here. I was looking at the darker part of the wall. It's the lighter part. Remember this? The underground storage room? I think we got uh, the bow gun here. Or some projectile weapon. Oh, yeah. We're really going back. This is like disc one territory. There's a boss around here. Oh, boy. We're really cruising. Just one little guy. I think I could take him. I'll give Edward a little bit of practice. Oh boy, here we go. Zero. Those moves usually do hurt too. 30 something in the new areas. Oh, don't run away. I'm trying to get to you with Edward. You know what I'll do? I'll move a bit with Kodelko so I can have it count as movement. So I don't have to keep pressing wait a hundred times. I don't know if Edward could even make it over there. No, he, he can. He could just make it. Nice shot. Whatever this is, I don't think I care about what it drops, if anything. I'll take the level up. If it was barely enough for Kodelka to level up, then the other guys probably are not far behind. That's right, the Underground Shrine, this was the save point? was where we had a boss fight. We are really, really backtracking. Dungeon Underground. It's been forever since... I think I've seen the screen once because we never had a reason to go back. They're really making me work for this. Oh god, which door was it? It's been locked with a green key. Well, that that's... Oh, wait. Are these the kids right here? There are name tags. Yeah, Valna and Vigna. Hooray! Thank goodness. Do I have to do anything with them, or can I just give them the stupid things? You see something green and shiny between the two bodies. It looks like the green key. You can't get to it. They're in the way. Do you want to pull the key away? Yes. They begin to speak. Give us back our dolls. Run, get away while you still can. Do you want to give them the doll? Yes. Once you give them the dolls, Vigna and Valna stop moving. You got the green key. Oh, thank God. 
They were teasing me from nearly the beginning of the game. A metal key with an image of a leaf engraved on the tab. The words dungeon, I mean, it's one word, are carved on the back. Use the green key. That was it. That's the green key's purpose. So it's gone. Thank goodness. Have we been here? Like, obviously this door was locked. Yeah, we've totally been here. We've been on the other side of the bars. That's clever. Potion. Basic potion. Rusted shut. That's no good. Okay, do I just go up the stairs then? Immediately a fight. Nice. Oh, the upside down guy. Actually scary. This guy really has it out for Kodelka and he could actually do some damage. So I'm just gonna leave. Let's try this again. Is that another potion? I guess I'll take it. It's an elegant cell. It's just like, how are the candles lit? There's still food on the table. You hear a young girl laughing softly. Suddenly, the furniture in the room starts to vibrate and space itself begins to twist. Wow. All right. That's the boss? This is a regular enemy. I guess the bookshelf's different, but all right. It's so weird to walk in. If it hurt Edward that badly, maybe Kodoka needs to get out of the way. That's a ton of damage. I'll take it. Edward silence, that doesn't really matter. Book's one weakness. That's not very good. <laughs> This is gonna sting, isn't it? Yep, just smacking me with books. 
Reminds me of a folklore. I'll throw the book at you! Except literally. <laughs> Ow. Quit it. Damn. I'm gonna need to heal Edward. As the bookshelf menacingly floats toward him. Check this trick out. More damage time. Alright. Chairs are out of here. James will probably finish this thing off. Done. Take that furniture. Shannon, do you know what these are? They're letters from your mother. Did you know that your mother was a queen of Hanover? It seems that after you were born in secret, your mother was locked up inside Alden Castle. Even while she was imprisoned there, she sent many letters to you here in the monastery. She never laid eyes on you, but she often imagined what you looked like. She dreamt of the day when she would be able to see you. Her letters never got to you, and she was never told of your death so she continued to write you letters, even after you died. Your mother loved you, Charlotte. What? No. no. I, can't I can't take, take this now. now. She, she loved, loved me? me? No. 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 It's, it's too, too scary. scary. Hey, hey. I can go on. on. What's, What's happening? No. no. Help me. You're not going to forgive you? She, she loved me? me? Charlotte, how does it feel to know you are loved? Now, things could have been very different if I had not prayed at her grave, I think, and, well, maybe even or, if I had not found those letters, Sophie's letters, we would have had a different FMV, and I would have had to fight Charlotte, which is rather interesting. Bread. A lot of bread. <laughs> does, does, does the item max at 10 before it stacks into another item? She's not going to throw away. I think the potions, actually. But this is what happens. I'm, I'm maxed. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Now, you could see something on the floor in front of me. If I had fought Charlotte, then I would have found that item right in front of me. It would have been uh, the Star Brooch. But I am not playing around with the Star Brooch. Instead... Oh wow, Edward was the only one who was hurt. Wait, where's the bread item? Twelve. So why did it say ten and two? Just say twelve. <laughs> what was that all about? What do I drop? I could I could drop a weapon. I have too many weapons. This is ridiculous. I'll drop the the water rapier. And I'll drop the hmm. Mystic. Hmm. 
I like the normal hammer, though. I did have Edward hacking away at the hammer. So I am not getting the, uh, the star brooch. Instead, I'm getting this. The flare brooch. For completing that little side thing, sort of. What is that good for? Wow. Wow, it really spikes vitality. And intelligence and piety. That's quite good. Woman's accessory with the multifaceted ruby centered in a gold setting, meant to represent the sun. Very nice. And Winterburnia describing what the Charlotte fight would have been. Charlotte, unable to feel love and with only hatred for the world and mother that shunned her, Charlotte has taken on this piteous form. But now we know, her mother did not shun her after all. So, we got this. I don't have to worry about getting the star brooch. I got the flare brooch, so it's one or the other. Uh, how do I leave? I don't think I go back the way I came. Is there another exit? Is just, is this it? Is this this door? Because I came in from the table, but is this something? Okay, here we go. Dungeon, first floor, I'm saving. Okay, I'll play a little more here. Now where am I? Wow. Gross. However, surprise, <laughs> Listal, yay. There are also pistol rounds somewhere up there, but I don't need them. Blue key. And I don't need it anymore. Hooray! Patrick's quarters. Look at this place. This game really just keeps escalating, doesn't it? Is there anything that I can reasonably do from here? I see an item on the floor, clearly, but hang on a second. It's bolted. Throw back the bolt? Yeah. Where does that take me? Oh, that. okay. Now I see what this was. You know what I kind of want to try? If I can get away with it. I'm going to do this once. Once. I'm going to run away from this fight, because I want to try a different fight. I'm going to attempt the only real side quest in the game. I guess you can call getting Sophie's letters for the flare brooch sort of a side quest, but there's something I really want to try. I really want to try this. Once. There's a very good chance I'm going to get absolutely fried, but we'll see what happens. Uh, inner grounds. Or do I go down? Was that what I do? Um, I could go in here. I want to go to the graveyard. Unless I can go through this way, but I don't think this is anything. This is the left nave. If this doesn't do it, then I have one more option. Here we are, Patrick's quarters. Unbolt the door, that's good. Did it, bye. And now we're back out here. So let's try the other path, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, back to the beginning of disc three, maybe. This is where I came in, right? There's a gargoyle inside. Maybe if the three of you work together, you can defeat it. <laughs> yeah, I love how when Kodelka was here, it was like, nope. 
do you still want to enter? So here's what I'm going to do. Okay? Here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I will equip Kodelka with... Roger's staff, which just explodes her intelligence and mind. Her intelligence is 62. Roger's is 51. Yeah, we're doing this with Kodelka. Kodelka gets the... Roger's staff... Edward gets the appropriately named Gargoyle Killer. Look at those stats. Roger, oh boy, do I have anything I want with Roger? I will try this, okay? I am right here. If I lose, then I'm not set back terribly far. Edward's HP is not good. Let's heal Edward. A lot. Quad 9 HP. That's why his HP was low. And he could do even more than, <laughs> than Quad 9. Oh my god! Alright. You ready? Do you still want to enter? Are you ready to see the only real side quest in this game? Which is the hardest boss in the game? Church Nave. First floor. They do let me save right here. What's nice about this fight is that I actually can run away from it and go back. This is more forgiving than you might think. Don't even tell me this is a regular fight. I could still fight regular ass enemies here? Alright. Yeah, we're not doing this, we're running. <laughs> Is this thing? Where the hell is it? It says a gargoyle's inside. Is it here or what? As you try to proceed, a gargoyle suddenly attacks you. Ah! Okay, it all comes down to this. This thing could very, very easily wipe the floor with me. I might need to level up before even trying this, but I want to at least see what happens. Edward has the gargoyle killer, and he is absolutely getting in front of Kodelka, for the love of God. Okay, that was that was pretty benign. This is. Am I playing as Edward right now? I'm still playing as Edward. All right. I guess his speed exploded. I mean, look at his HP. This is insane. Action. I'm gonna swing the gargoyle killer at him, right? He's got the gargoyle killer equipped. I think you only get three strikes with this thing, so I better make him count. Thirty-five hundred. James. Item. Charlotte's book. My secret item. Thirty-one hundred. That's all right. And now Kodelka. This is gonna hurt. Um, flare level two. Wait, did I have? Oh, her tornado's level two now. Yay! And her heal's level two. Woohoo! Um, flare, level two. Cause tornado is not very great against this thing. How much HP does this guy have? So far, he's being very kind to me. Oh, this guy's got like 30k. This, <laughs> all right. Now, this fight might not be so bad because I'm prepared. This might do quad nine. Yeah, this fight might not be bad because I've gotten the requisite secret items. But under normal circumstances, this fight is like comically difficult. I'll give the gargoyle a chance to come closer. I like that he leaps back instead of turns around and runs back. 
Maybe I should have had Edward use the item and James just cast. Edward is fast as hell. <laughs> Look at this. All right, James. I don't know, man. James doesn't have level two anything. I'll just throw Megalith at it. Edward's waiting. I need the gargoyle to come closer. Oh, what? Oh, the gargoyle's casting. All right. Never mind. I'm, I'm just gonna swing. I don't care if this reduces my caster's damage. This might kill the sword. Yeah, okay. This is gonna sting. Well, Kodelka's got piety for days. But if that hit even James, that would have hurt like hell. If that had hit Edward, that would have been destruction. This won't do much. Zero. Yeah, this is why this fight's hard, because you can't hit it normally. <laughs> And I think Edward is going to be in serious trouble now. Kodoka's poisoned and silenced. That is absolutely not acceptable. Um, item? Do we have panaceas? Please, please. Wow. I might have to swap out Kodoka's staff for uh, for for James's stuff. Tamako soup. I forgot. Does this? I I know that heals everything, but I forgot if it cures status. Oh, Kodoko's paralyzed too. Do I have a? I don't have like a cure spell. Antidote's good for poison, but I don't know about paralysis. I'm gonna YOLO the the soup. And just hope that it cures status problems. This is where the fight gets hard now. She's still poisoned and silenced and paralyzed. This this is a disaster. Yeah, now Edward takes real damage because he doesn't have that sword anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> and now this guy's casting. Oh wow. I can't unequip with Kodelka because James needs that staff. And James can't take that hit. This is why the fight's hard. If it decides to be hard, it can be hard. <laughs> He's casting again because Kodelka's paralyzed. Kodelka to take a hit, actually. Like, this isn't so bad for her, but it's a disaster for everybody else. Oh my god, the, the paralysis is so busted. It's gonna take a while to bring Kodelka down, but I'm just gonna get bored waiting for the opportunity to do something. <clears throat> if I do win, I wonder if... Oh, physical attack. Well, there you go. That's why this fight's hard. Freaking yikes. I need panaceas. <laughs> All those skulls down there, it's amazing. Oof. I might try that again on the next stream, but I think I'm going to take a break for now. But now you see why the gargoyle's hard. It looked pretty free when he was using physical attacks on the physical defender and magic attacks on the magic defender, but see what happens when things start to even slightly go wrong and it all goes down. Freaking yikes. But, alright, this is where I'm going to wrap up for now, so thank you very much for watching the stream, and have a wonderful night.